Okay, in this video, we're going to solve 2002 FRQ Form B Question 5. So it says, consider differential equation dy over dx equals 3 minus x over y. Let y equal f of x be the particular solution to the given differential equation for one between the domain 1 and 5, such that the line y equals negative 2 is tangent to the graph of f. Find the x-coordinate of the point of tangency and determine whether f has a local max, local min, or neither at the point. Justify your answer. So, in order to be a min or a max, the slope has to equal zero, right? So we have dy over dx equals 3 minus x over y. The only way this is going to happen is fx equals 3. Because 3 minus 3 is 0. 0 divided by who cares? This is going to be 0 as long as y is not 0. So if we want to find if it's a min or a max, we're going to do the second derivative test. So d2 over y, d squared y, dx squared is going to equal negative, derivative of top is negative 1, times y minus derivative of bottom is dy over dx equals derivative of top, well just the top, I'm sorry, 3 minus x over bottom squared. So when you simplify this and replace, you're going to get negative y minus quantity 3 minus x over y, 3 minus x, y squared. So now we need x and y. We know x is 3. It says it's tangent to it, so it's going to be 3 comma negative 2. So we're going to plug in 3 comma negative 2. When you plug in 3 comma negative 2, you're going to get negative negative 2 minus 3 minus 3 is going to be 0 over I don't really care times another 0 3 minus 3 is 0 all over negative 2 quantity squared and that's going to give you a slope of 1 half right so if 1 half is greater than 0 it means it's concave up if it's concave up, that means you have a min here. So you could say d2 over y dx squared is greater than 0, therefore a min. Okay, now the next part says let y equal g of x be the particular solution to the given differential equation from negative 2 to 8, uh, and x is in between or there. With the initial condition, g of 6 is equal to negative 4, and y equals g of x. Okay, so what is it asking us to do here? We're going to have to separate the variables. So when you separate, you have, I'm just going to draw an arrow here so you can see what I'm doing. You're going to get y dy equals 3 minus x dx. Okay, you're going to have to integrate now. So when you integrate, you're going to get y squared over 2 equals 3x minus, what's that, x squared over 2 plus c. Okay, and it gave us, what, 6 comma negative 4. So 6 comma negative 4. We're going to plug that in. So what are we going to get? 16 over 2 equals 18 minus 36 over 2 plus C. So we're going to get 8 equals 18 minus 18 plus C. So C equals 8, right? So now we're going to go back over here. We're going to plug it in here. I'm going to erase whatever I have on the bottom because we don't really need that anymore. I already answered that question. So, you're now going to get, let me separate this, y squared over 2 equals 3x minus x squared over 2 uh, plus 8. Okay, so now we want to basically get this by itself, right? 
So how do we get y by itself? We're going to double everything. So we're going to get y squared equals 6x minus x squared plus 16. And now we're going to take the root of both sides. So we're going to get y equals 6x minus x squared plus 16. But we need to get negative 4. The only way you're going to get negative 4 is if this root is negative to begin with. So I hope this video helps, and I will see you next time.